Yeah. Assalamualaikum and uh, very good morning. Today we will be presenting our uh, poster or infographic about the Royal British Bank versus Tukuan. So in this infographic, you will be detailed on about the case and explanation of Royal British Bank versus Tukuan. So this poster uh, will uh, present about the case. So we'll move to the poster. So the case uh, relate to the doctrine of constructive notice, whereby a company memorandum of association must be filled with the register of companies. This document is available for public inspection. People doing business with the company are free to exam, uh, exam, exam in document to see if any restriction or limitation apply to the nature of the document, business or not. Therefore, it was the latest discover that there were any irregularity in the association for any decision, the foreigner who will will dealing with the company is deemed to be aware of it. So next, we'll be going to the facts or how the case is started. So Irwan, where you will be sharing about the facts. So, uh, Tukuan was the official uh, manager, which is a liquidator of the uh, insolvent uh, Cameron uh, Group Steam, Cool and Swansea and London Railway Company. Uh, it was incorporated under the Joint Stock Companies Act uh, 1844. Uh, the company had given a bet uh, for a bond for 2000 to the Royal British Bank which uh, secured under uh, the company drawing on its current account. The bond was under the company uh, seal signed by uh, two di uh, director and the secretary. The company uh, alleged uh, that under its uh, registered uh, deed of settlement, uh, uh, registered uh, deed of settlement, uh, the article of uh, association director only had power to borrow uh, what had been uh, author authorized by a company resolution. A resolution had been uh, passed but uh, not uh, specifying how much the director could borrow. The company claimed that uh, there was no resol uh, resolution Pass, uh, authorizing the issue of the bond and uh, and that therefore the company was uh, not liable. So the court held, I, I will give it to Akim. Please, uh, Mr. Akim. Okay, we move to the court held. Okay, uh, as we see, the court held that the company was entitled to sue on the bond. As the requirement for the resolution was a matter of internal regulation for the company and the bank could not know whether such resolution had in fact been passed, it was entitled to presume that the resolution had indeed been passed. So the rule is also known as the Indo Management Rule. So next, rule of Turquen. So uh, basically, this case is how the rule of the coin is being recognized. So the rule in the token case is a presumption of regularity. In other words, a person is dealing with the company is entitled to presume that all the internal procedure of the company have been complied with. This is a practical approach to solving, to solving problems facing outsider because an outsider would have difficulty to discover what is going in the company. So basically, this is uh, what represents the case of Royal British Bank versus Tukuan. 
that's all from us and thank you